In this video, I'd like to feature the top five exercises I regularly see uh, being performed incorrectly or with bad form. Um, these are mostly upper body exercises. I was going to do squats, but my range of motion is so bad, I can only perform the how not to do it uh, portion of that. So we're just going to stick with these five. Before we get on to these, though, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. I've seen people in the gyms over the years who are big and muscular and strong and athletic, lifting weights improperly or maybe with not the best form and they're still gonna get stronger, you're still gonna benefit from it, but there are some benefits to why you want to use proper form. The first one of those is your efficiency of your workout. You can target and isolate a muscle much easier if you have proper form for an exercise. And then the second one is for safety. You're less likely to uh, get a strain or pull your back or hurt yourself if you have a uh, good form. So those are the two main reasons why you wanna have good form. Now let's move on to the top five exercises. All right, the first exercise is everyone's least favorite, uh, push-ups. Okay, with push-ups, here's another common exercise that we do wrong a lot. Um, just a couple of reminders on here. When you're doing a push-up, you don't want to be having your butt sticking up in the air, and you don't want to be sagging down like this either, but you want to be nice and straight. Pretend there's a line from your ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, through your neck like that. And then uh, just pretend you're in a, an ironing board. Move like that, really stiff through the straightness of your body. When you go down, one problem I have is when I start doing a lot of these, I get fatigued and I'll go like this. And I count this as a rep, because yep, I hit the ground, but it should be our chest that's touching the ground. So you want to go down like this. So it's fine if you're doing those. If you're struggling with good form, do fewer ones, practice better form. So remember with push-ups, you want to keep your body as straight and as flat as you can while you're doing this. Pretend you're an ironing board moving like this. We're not doing the worm. Exercise number two is pull-ups or chin-ups. The biggest problem with uh, pull-ups and chin-ups is not doing the full range of motion. So I'm guilty of doing this a lot where you just kind of do these quarter reps up at the top. Instead, we want to change that where we get a full range of motion, go all the way down to the bottom in each rep and up to the top. Try not to be kicking your feet and kipping and going crazy, but just uh, use that upper back. This machine is great also because you can offset your weight to do it with better form. Exercise number three is the seated cable row. So with the seated cable row, one thing I see a lot is people turning this into an ab exercise instead. They're not really working their back, but they're just uh, doing that ab work with it. Instead, you want to stabilize your position, lean slightly back, and you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together, work for that scapular retraction. Just imagine there's a uh, Sharpie or a magic marker between your shoulder blades you're trying to pinch. Exercise four, everyone's favorite, bicep curls. I'm sure you've seen people at the gym who are trying to lift a lot of weight, and their curls look like this. They're contorting their body, they're getting up on their tiptoes, doing this kind of stuff. Instead, stabilize your core, do slow and controlled movements like this. And remember when you're curling, once the weights are down here, there's no tension on the arm, same thing up to here. So if you keep the range of motion from here to here, you'll have more constant tension on the muscle. But remember, you don't always have to go heavier. You can be more efficient and effective with lighter weights with good form. And number five are tricep kickbacks. This is more of an isolation exercise, but I still see people doing this a lot. So with kickbacks, the biggest problem I see is people just swinging the weights back and forth like a pendulum, and they're not really working any muscle. You want to stabilize your core, keep your back straight, and then you want to extend them behind your body. Don't let those dumbbells come in front of your legs. If you do that, you'll be able to work the back of your arm. Hopefully this video reminds you to have better form when you're exercising. And again, remember the importance of form is so we can isolate, target, and efficiently work out a muscle uh, more effectively, and then also for our own safety. So keep that in mind.